Hi, and welcome to a, a very high-quality YouTube tutorial, as usual, only found here on this channel. So, um, today I'm going to be showing a very, very cool use of the audio sidechain um, that might open up some different ideas for other people, and this is just for sure one of them. Um, so, in a song, whenever you have like some sort of lead or vocal line, one of the things that contribute to really burying those and not making them up front is the lack of presence, which can very often be because the reverb of everything else is so loud. So a very common practice is to sidechain the reverb by any sort of like main melody or anything up front, such as a vocal line or a lead. So what's easily enough done with the with a tool or even on the wet of like the reverb you're using as you can use an audio sidechain to control the either wet or amplitude section of of this so essentially what we're going to do is take this vocal line It starts to sound like it's getting buried in reverb, and then maybe, especially over here as well. Because the reverb is very aggressive. So what would be nice is to move it down a bit. So what we'll do is grab a tool and an audio sidechain and we will go ahead and modulate the amplitude oops like so maybe like 36 and then i can adjust on the inside okay so that's done so now this will essentially control the the volume of the the of the reverb but at no point because it's only negative 36 is it going to completely disappear and then we can edit it but like this is nice because we don't want it to disappear completely anyways so now we have this and we're going to go ahead and start start doing that so we're going to select the laulut or the, the 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 reverb the vocal line okay so um we have a choice we can take like the regular one which is just this come like mainly unprocessed just enough to to affect the sound itself and then we have like verb chorus and crisp so like basically distortion stereo and just like reverb so then what we do is we can select either all of them together and what comes out of the master or the, the main vocals themselves. So let's do the main vocals maybe and go ahead and just go with this. We can maybe find her root tones of her voice more and use those to, to affect the amplitude more than the rest of her voice. So let's listen. So we can hear how that's working, especially if we solo this. And we can decide how how quiet or loud we want that. So that was just a quick like thing right there. Um, let's see how it sounds in this other part too.
Yeah. So likewise, you could do the same thing with bass sounds. You could do it with, uh, you could even use it as a kick and snare like sidechain. You could use it to like have a bass line. I already said that, but like if you were recording bass, you could have a bass line like essentially be in the way of reverb or piano chords and all these sorts of things. You can use the audio sidechain to get the F out of the way. And you might be like, well, how does this differ from a regular sidechain? Well, it actually doesn't. So um, <laughs> it's just a convenient thing that you can now just click on to something like, and like it's a it's a device you can build, and then you can make tons of ramifications to it, depending on what you want and macros and all the sorts of things which a regular sidechain doesn't give you. So it comes at it from a little bit of a different perspective. Um, so that's my tip here, and that is very helpful, yes. Um, so I would recommend using that on leads and vocals, like if you uh, do your verb in one spot, for sure do do that. You could even use it uh, uh, to get in front of effects and such, but I believe, um, well, I guess this has a reverb. So like you might have to put it in multiple spots if you use multiple reverbs. It's a good practice to use sends for reverbs to for the specific reason to control to control everything. But I did not in this song. Well, the FX is, and then this is like the the big risers, and they have their own reverb as well. And the synths, I believe, though, go to so the synths. The synths go to the... They don't, so everything in between goes there, or they have their own reverbs. So this is kind of an issue when you're trying to do this tactic, is if you have reverbs everywhere. But if they're all organized into this one spot at the bottom, or you have multiple tracks, like I sometimes like to do like uh, one second delay, two and three and four, five, six or something, or three and six, and then like I have four side chains that I need to make instead of like one for each every track that has reverb or whatever and i usually always group my fx reverbs together in one spot like so and um yeah so that's it for this one thank you for watching hope you learned something um yeah goodbye